I think I'm an idiot. Pretty sure I jammed a seal up inside there, which is the one that goes in the top of that jam nut. So here we are heading back out to customer site so I can finish up the wheel loader that flipped over during one of those snowstorms. Um, has a fuel leak after I got most of it fixed. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up today and try to get back working again. So right here, I'm trying to get my camera set up so you guys can see what I'm about to do. But I'm returning after doing a majority of the work the last time I was here. Uh, but now I need to get this injector sealed up because it leaks pretty bad as you'll see. Injector out, swapping it. I think I'm gonna just try to take that seal out and see if it fixes it. Because that sounds a whole lot better than what I was about to do. Hopefully, I can get this out of there reasonably. Oh yeah, that's got some spring tension to it. I wonder if I can pull that out and push it down. Push it down. Uh -oh. completely so I really don't know see from one of the previous repairs I did it didn't leak right away it started leaking afterwards but yeah I got it and all this is is like a seal that goes around the cup and I'm pretty sure that's the whole thing ceiling washer out. God, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? Hmm. Because I'm looking at this piece. There is a piece of gasket in there still. I guess, I don't know. Took my glove off there so I can see what I'm doing. I guess you can see a little bit of BS there. This is the back side that's facing the motor. You can see probably where I had the gasket in there before. It doesn't look like it's sealed all the way because it's not shiny all the way around. Let me see if I can 
get a piece of sandpaper and dress that. Because that side's shiny, that side is not shiny all the way around. So my guess is, is it's not touching everywhere. So. Yeah, it's definitely over that. There you go. See, it's definitely not sitting flat all the way down. I'm trying to get it flatter. Hey, if you guys have any tips or tricks or anything like that for reusing copper washers, uh, go ahead and post them down below. So that's flat around the outside edge. And it So, address the inside, press the other inside, that's the outer facing side, and that's the side yet. Oh yeah, I've got that way reduced down. Alright, let's see what we can do here. flopping around in there, dang it. Come on. Stuck on this stud. Shoot. Right, let's see if I can get the rest of my fingers. My exhaust is a little hot, but... It's not like ridiculously hot. Let's see if we can avoid all this. That was only running for a couple minutes. Come on, baby. Yeah, I dropped it. So if you stuff the bolt in the socket with a little bit of blue towel uh, and rip it off there, you can easily hold the bolt in place and then just pull the towel off there. It's a little trick to stick a bolt in when you can't get your fingers or anything else in there. And what I did was is uh, once you once you uh, tighten this up, you uh, especially with all this works really well with most copper washers. But you put something on the end of it and you tap it with a hammer and that should further crush it and then you can put your socket back on here and give her one last little click and now start her up it's all dry we should see if it has any fuel come out, shouldn't. I like the step, it's like jumping on a diving board. So anyways, what happened is that little seal that's supposed to go down right on top of that, this little socket dealy or this uh, hold down, it's supposed to go in there. And they're really hard to put in when they're all wore out. These were reused, I need to get new ones. But uh, I, there's, this is from uh, flipping this truck back over so I didn't have those parts. But anyways, it ended up being that that seal got behind this, and when I crushed it down, it deformed the 
crush washer, so I had to dress it. But yeah, what I'll end up needing is a whole new set of these. So that way it keeps all the crud from getting down in there and season up and all that kind of stuff. But we are fixed.